In a dramatic escalation of tensions, massive protests have erupted across Israel in response to the death of six hostages in Gaza and they stalled efforts to secure a ceasefire with Hamas. The unrest has seen approximately 500,000 demonstrators flooding the streets of major Israeli cities, including Tel Aviv and Jerusalem, calling for immediate action to retrieve the remaining 101 hostages and to address the ongoing conflict with Hamas. The protests began in earnest after the Israeli military announced the recovery of six hostages' bodies from a tunnel in southern Gaza. The hostages identified as Carmel Gat, Hirsch Goldberg Polin, Eden Yerushalmi, Alexander Lobanov, Almog Sarusi and Ori Danino were found in the southern city of Rafah. According to Rear Admiral Daniel Hagari, a spokesperson for the Israeli military, the hostages were brutally murdered by Hamas terrorists shortly before Israeli troops reached them. In Jerusalem, demonstrators took to the streets in significant numbers, blocking major thoroughfares and staging protests in front of Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's residence. The protests in Tel Aviv were marked by demonstrators waving flags emblazoned with the images of the deceased hostages, emphasizing their demand for action and accountability. Local media reports indicate that approximately 29 people have been arrested in connection with the protests. Aerial footage captured by news outlets assured show police employing water cannons to disperse crowds who had obstructed key highways and roads, underscoring the tense atmosphere. The announcement of the hostages' deaths has elicited a strong reaction from the international community. US President Joe Biden expressed his profound sadness and outrage, particularly over the death of 23-year-old Israeli-American Hirsch Goldberg Pollen. In his statement, Biden condemned the actions of Hamas, asserting, Hamas leaders will pay for these crimes and we will keep working around the clock for a deal to secure the release of the remaining hostages. The conflict between Israel and Hamas, which began in October last year, has resulted in severe casualties on both sides. The Gaza Health Ministry reports that nearly 41,000 Palestinians have been killed since the conflict's onset. Despite the ongoing efforts, negotiations for a ceasefire have so far failed to yield a resolution, leaving the situation highly volatile and fraught with uncertainty. In the wake of the hostages' deaths, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has made a public statement addressing the crisis. He condemned the murder of the hostages, emphasizing that those who commit such acts are not genuinely interested in negotiating a peaceful resolution. Netanyahu's comments reflect the increasing pressure on his administration to take more decisive measures in the face of escalating violence and public demand for action. As the situation continues to unfold in the Middle East, the focus remains on whether a viable ceasefire agreement can be reached and how the Israeli government will address the demands of its citizens for the safe return of the remaining hostages. The protests have highlighted the intense frustration and urgency felt by many Israelis, adding to the already complex situation and volatile dynamics of the ongoing conflict.